Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo DE VR. This channel is about virtual and augmented reality. Today we will have the next episode of the virtual reality weekly news. This week with the following topics. Atari will build video game hotels. Samsung has, has a new virtual reality patent. Lynx has a new headset called Lynx R1. Iron Guard VR, Blizzard made a VR prototype uh, in the past. Augmented reality contact lenses, a new fusion arena in Bern. Valve Index sales, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners gets PlayStation VR and Quest support, Panasonic has new VR eyeglasses and of course the newest releases and sales this week. And as always, I would like to thank my official sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Opperman Events, Andy De Felsa, VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go! Okay guys, before I start the weekly news, you perhaps want to know uh, why there was no new video from me in the last weeks. So um, there are a lot of speculations, so uh, I will just tell you the truth. My 10 year relationship is over and this is very sad of course um, and I have to get over this of course. Uh, I'm, fe I'm already feeling better, it's not perfect, but it, it's... I'm getting happy again, I would say. So, um, yeah, this is this is this is a thing that, uh, yeah, everybody has to get through in 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 his life, uh, in her life, whatever. And um, yeah, I will have to get through this. Um, the the pro <coughs> the problem now is, of course, uh, as you perhaps know, I just moved to another apartment with her, and now we have to to. Uh, cancel that and get, I, I already have a new apartment that's very close to my studio that's really good uh, but the problem is it's expensive and um, I really want to separate my private stuff from the YouTube stuff so that I can invite people and stuff and I don't want them to see my private stuff so I need two apartments for that and um, this is expensive, I have to pay it alone now and uh, I really hope for your support here so that I can continue my dream, my virtual reality studio and stuff and perhaps you can consider to support me via Patreon or YouTube membership, that would be so great. Um, there are a lot of new supporters already um, because my patrons uh, already know what happened. So there is uh, some new um, people like the uh, Mick Mac. He um, updated to 10 euro. J Red Roland Carl to 15 euro. Jonah with J and Design Media. Surio Mark updated to 20 dollars. Hilmar the Dude updated to 10 dollars. Frank to 45 dollars. Gunnar from Locomotion VR, Spitfire VR, Rotator updated to $10, Kenga, Kelmec updated to $5, Arlen Levitan to $25, Christian, Evil Wiesel to $10, Volker, Dexter80 and Eckehart. So thank you so much for your support. I really need that in the, in the, uh, in the future so that I can um, continue this dream that I have, please support uh, me, that would be awesome. And of course, if you want to write me some, some stuff uh, <laughs> that I'm feeling happy again, that would be awesome. Just write it in the comments and uh, that would be great. So, however, that is why there were no new videos. Um, there will not be a video every day um, because I really have to get over this. Uh, but there will be the weekly news and and some more videos in the next uh, um, in the next time. So let's start with the weekly news now. Atari is building gaming hotels, <laughs> video game hotels in the U.S. and they support augmented and virtual reality components and even some of them esport events. That's really awesome. I want to visit one of these. And uh, I'm curious about the 
price per night. <laughs> so I would definitely sleep there. What What do you think? Would Would you uh, spend a, a night there in in this Atari gaming hotel? <laughs> Samsung has uh, a new patent for a virtual reality headset and or two patents the first one looks like uh, this here and it's it's strange it looks like there is a lighthouse tracking sensors here or whatever in the face plate uh, but we cannot see that really it, it, it's strange there are no cameras but uh, the the um the halo design here we know that already from other headsets or from the old samsung headsets of course, we have no idea if this patent really goes into production. That's unknown. And the next one looks really, it looks like uh, some insect eyes here uh, or whatever. It, it looks so strange. Uh, I, w I really want to have that on my head. <laughs> Look at this. And um, there are definitely cameras here. I think there are four cameras. One, two one two three and four and um yeah it, it looks like uh it's the same halo design the um the speakers look a little bit uh like the uh, from the vive pro i would say and uh the other thing looks like a little bit here like a valve index and here like the um, old samsung odyssey so samsung is not done with virtual reality However, it's uh, it's official. Officially, these are Windows Mixed Reality headsets, and we know from Microsoft they, I think they they will perhaps uh, let it die. I don't know as it seems for now, but perhaps Samsung isn't going into Windows Mixed Reality. Perhaps they are just going into their own kind of headsets without Windows Mixed Reality. We don't know, but they are working on it on the patent and. They are not done with virtual reality. I'm really looking forward and I want to wear this one. It looks so crazy. <laughs> a startup from France called Lynx has announced a new headset that's called Lynx R1. And this is a standalone headset that supports augmented reality and virtual reality. Rumors say that it supports augmented reality via pass-through, so via the cameras. Um, they will tell more about it on February 3rd, 2020. And a, a guy who um, who said that and who works for them also worked for Star VR. Um, and this is awesome. You know, Star VR has the best headset in the world. It's not, it's on ice, but uh, it, it's really awesome. I was one of the few people that had the chance to try the Star VR one and yeah. He's working for this company now, and yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You know, uh, standalone headsets are uh, trendy. The, the, the Oculus Quest is very successful, and I hope this one is going to be awesome as well. Links are one. Do you like real-time strategy games in virtual reality? Then perhaps um, put this on your list. <laughs> it's called Iron Guard VR, and um, it looks really promising, the screenshots. And it's gonna be out this year. There's no exact release date and not mentioned on what headset it will be, but it looks good and I really love um, this kind of games. Um, perhaps you think, uh, why should I play a, a game what I see from above in virtual reality? Believe me, guys, it's awesome. It, it's really good. And um, I will try that for you as soon as possible. Iron Guard VR. Blizzard made a prototype of a VR version of Hearthstone in the past. So they have some events that are called free or mind events. And um, that means that the developer can do what they want for a, for a, a time, like uh, some days or some weeks, I don't know. And um, one of the developers made a VR version of Hearthstone. And that that's really cool because uh, Blizzard said some years ago that they, they are not producing some virtual reality stuff, but they are interested in it. And yeah, perhaps there is coming something in the future. I really want World of Warcraft in virtual reality. This is one of my favorite games and I really want to play that. But yeah, they, they are interested, but... Yeah, we will see. Perhaps there will be something in the future. At least they they have a, they they tried it already. <laughs>
Haha, <laughs> you remember my last April's Fool? I, uh, <laughs> I said that I have uh, virtual reality contact lenses and holy shit, here, are, here they are. They are true. It's true. <laughs> it's from Mojo and uh, it can do um, augmented reality and also virtual reality. Um, they have a 14,000 pixel per inch display and um, that they were shown in the prototype on the CS in Vegas. Uh, of course, this is only very early and it will take several years for that to come out. And, and I think it will be very expensive, but I really, really want to do that now. So please, Mojo, if I can visit you, uh, <laughs> tell me about that. <laughs> I want to try that now. Thank you. <laughs> would, would you place these contact lenses into your eyes? That would be interesting for me. VR Ambassador sent me this video. Um, it's from the new Fusion Arena in Bern. So if you live next uh, or in Bern, you should really visit that because they also have a new uh, launch. Uh, they have three Valve Index headsets with over 40 uh, square meters and um, they have cable management that you don't uh, feel the cable anymore. The PCs are mounted on the on the ceiling and stuff and um, you have a special launch, launcher that you where you can launch your uh, games and stuff. You should really go there. If you want to visit that, I will put the link in the description below. Is the Valve Index a system seller? I think so, yes. So if we check out the sales uh, units um, from Q3 to Q4 2019, it, it's climbing from 46,000 to 103,000 sold units only because of Half-Life Alex. And this is really awesome because the Valve Index is very expensive. It's 1,000 bucks. And uh, if you compare it to the, the Quest, of course, it's, it's sold a lot more, 317,000 and the PlayStation VR 238,000. But these are much lower price, much lower. And it's, it's great that Half-Life Alyx even convinced some people or a lot of people to buy such an expensive headset. That's really crazy. As you know, the uh, Valve Index is out of stock at the moment, but uh, Valve promised that it will be available again before the launch of Half-Life Alyx that will be in uh, March 2020. So check out every day if you can uh, pre-order the Valve Index or, or buy the Valve Index. I really want to play this game and I will play this game. Perhaps there will even be a multiplayer mod in the future so we can play that together. A lot of people asked me if The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners will be available on the PlayStation VR and the Oculus Quest in the future. And now I can tell you, yes. Um, so the PlayStation VR version um, will be launched in spring, so it's not a long time to wait. And the Quest version will be released in Q4. This is a little time to wait, uh, but um, you can look forward to a very good game. I already played it and it's, it's awesome. Of course, the graphics will not be as good as on the PC on the Oculus Quest because it, it doesn't ha have so much power than a PC. However, the PlayStation VR version will perhaps look uh, great if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro and um, it's good. I can tell you it, it's worth the price. <laughs> Panasonic showed a cool virtual reality glasses uh, on the CES. It's called VR eyeglasses and this looks like a future virtual reality headset. It's, it looks small, it looks light, it is very light and um, it has an OLED panel. I think this is the future of, of virtual reality headsets. This one that, that you can see here has only three degrees of freedom. That, that means you can rotate your head like this but you cannot change your position. That doesn't work. Um, but there will be a six degrees of freedom version, of course, as well. But uh, this will be um, heavier, of course. It has IPD um, adjustment and 60 hertz display. And it's connected via USB-C to a smartphone and perhaps later to a PC. So as you can see, the, the developers are still working to improve not only the, the displays or the, the quality 
even the weight and the appearance, the size of the headsets. And this is gonna be awesome, I think. I want to try that. <laughs> Then let's check out the releases this week. Let's start with Steam VR, Change Ranger. This is um, a shooting game where you can um, stop time or have influence on the time. And uh, this is uh, gonna be crazy, I think. <laughs> Bubber Knuckles, you can uh, punch some very strange monsters uh, and creatures. Piñata attack, yeah, of course, what the name says, you can attack a piñata. Then we have Crazy VR dance parties. Uh, we um, can dance with half-naked woman. Uh, sounds interesting, <laughs> but the character models don't look very good. Uh, we will see. War Chasm, this is a rail shooter. Art Pulse, you have to combine some objects in the rhythm of the music. VR Fantasy Island, this is an adventure game with puzzles in a, in a um, fantasy island, yeah. And this is for VR arcades. You can monitor the tracking of your virtual reality devices and there improve them. Sounds interesting. Then on the Oculus Quest, we have Audica. This is a really good um, rhythm music game. And let's go for the Oculus um, Rift and Rift S platform. We have Stellar Destiny Galaxy Explorer. This is a, you can explore an asteroid field um, with your spaceship. Shark Ferno, you have to save mankind from very angry sharks with very strange weapons. <laughs> and last line VR, this is a zombie defense game. Zombies are running in front of you and you have to kill them. And on the PlayStation VR, Viking Days. This is a mix of ultra short mini games they are so short that you don't even realize them <laughs> i played that already on the pc um it, it's fun but uh, you have to notice that it's very short so this were the releases this week okay and let's check out the best sales this week thumper is a really cool arcade racer 75 percent off then keep talking and nobody explodes a, a, a really cool uh, local co-op game 50 percent off then we have Boiling Steel, this is a single player um, shooter, 30% off. Kali and the Reaper Man is a local co-op game, 30% off. You can also play it uh, via internet. Then on the Oculus platform, Shadow Legend VR, a really cool RPG, 40% off. Once, this is a magic fighting game, 54% off. Accounting Plus, a really strange adventure with a lot of strange... Uh, uh, characters. 58% off Sacralith uh, Bow and Arrow game, very good. 54% uh, off Mervils, and this is a jump and run game, very good. 75% off. Then on the PlayStation platform, LA Noir is a good um, adventure. 33% off Space Junkie is an arena shooter. 75% off Gun Club, you can shoot on a shooting range. 40% off. There are seen is for me it's one of the best virtual reality adventures is 66% of Rush VR you can fly with a wingsuit you, you need a strong stomach 50% <laughs> of Dan Pixel Ripped is a really cool adventure with a mix of real world and um, and retro world really strange 50% off and Arizona Sunshine a zombie shooter 66% off okay guys if you go before you go to another video please consider again you know my situation now that I have to pay all that stuff for myself now the two apartments please consider to support me via Patreon. One buck per month is totally fine. You can get behind the scenes videos and stuff. Or you'd go via my channel membership, click on get member. I don't know the English, <laughs> it's, it's, it's on German here. Just push this button. That would be really awesome. Or just buy your stuff via my Amazon link. That would be so great. Yeah, in the future there will be a lot of new stuff. Please send me some recommendation for videos I should do. But I have some packages here that I didn't unbox because of my situation. But I will do that in the coming days and weeks. And there will be a lot of cool videos very soon. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya.